uh, the topic I really talk about is cybersecurity awareness. The slide today is kind of quite special. That I um, have some uh, uh, demos that you can, can see how the hacker they can um, explore or attack a person. Information that we link on the uh, dark web, you know, daily because uh, due to we use like pirate software or crack software. This is a real life uh, case study that I recorded and uh, you can see this. This is um, how it, the, the real hacker they can obtain your credential or our identity. Purchase credentials for $10. Download credentials file. Let access the account. Find the right credential. We see a lot of credential is got leaked because uh, Victims. people now they are using a lot of uh, crack software, you know. Please take over. You can see you just copy and paste. The hacker can get access to your email now. It just took like one minute, right? And usually how much do you think that um, a hacker or a malicious uh, actor that can obtain your credential on the dark web? But I want to uh, ask somebody in here, you know, one attendant that uh, can give an answer for this. You know, how much a medium price that a hacker can obtain your credential or your online identity? Yeah, over there, please. Yes. Ten dollars. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it's just like ten dollars, right? And everything paid into like cryptocurrency and non-emergencies. Okay. So this is a lot of different parts in the body, right? And this part is support us in you know to protect in different environment, different bacteria and virus. The same thing with cyber security. This is the third fighting that our in this system can help us, right? First thing is to destroy harmful bacteria and viruses. And the second thing is to introduce antibodies to fight uh, off infection. And the third thing is, is to recognize and destroy cancer cells. And fourth is to reduce Y plus cells to attack uh, foreign invaders. And the fifth is to reduce uh, ketokines to regularize the immune response. And that's it. You know, like, my slide is very soft though. So, thank you very much for coming today. Yeah. I just hope we did. I'm checking it. I'm checking it. Okay, next slide. <laughs> okay, this is the main thing today. This is kind of like a uh, phishing test message. There's a threat actor use a device to send these uh, test messages. Try to lure you to trick you to click on the link. The number of phishing attacks is going up, you know, every day, every single day. And Vietnam is the top one in South country. That's why we're here today because our cybersecurity awareness in Vietnam is so low in our region, South Asia. That's why a lot of phishing attacks. Sometimes a hacker, hack, you know, like me, I'm a hacker, you know. So I stole the so code and I build up a a demo for this just for today. So hopefully you guys can enjoy it. On the left side is the attacker. On the right side is the victims. So when a victim click on the link and victim don't know anything, just in this form VP bank uh, banking system you know, and he put in personal information like username, passwords, identity, credit card information, stuff like that. After putting the information on the left side of the attacker you can see this after I refresh, right? You can see the victim's information on the left side of the uh, attacker monitor. So the attacker can manipulate anything. He can manipulate to ask the victim to put up 
credit card information, ID, cards, stuff like that. Okay. Now, uh, the threat actor redirects user to another page to put in personal information, identity. You know, in my non-profit, Chong Le Dao, you know, we receive a lot of reports from the victim like this, and they lose in a lot of money, millions and millions of Vietnam dollars. Just grab, grab the information, and then it will ask for the uh, balance limit in your credit card. Sometimes I pick up some random pictures, and I just, for this demo today. So now, for instance, right, the victim put up their ID call, the phone in the back of the call, right? After this, on the left side, the, the attacker, you can see that after I refresh, a lot of ID calls so up. So that's how the threat actor can see everything in real time. This technique is called panel phishing attack. And it's, it's quite popular nowadays because they can obtain your um, two-step authentication code and that's how they can gain access into your account. So now is uh, the third quality that we need to concern about cybersecurity, right? Technology alone cannot protect you from everything. Big company like Apple, Marshall, major companies, they got hacked every single day. You know, a lot of threat actors or even like white hat, white hats, you know, they try to uh, exploit into these big companies to get some money from them. The second is uh, attacker go where security is weak. Our weakest form is the human. When we don't recognize which is a real test message or not, we just click on it, the link, right? And that creates a chain attack. An attacker can gain inside your personal account. A must to reduce cyber security risk. And number one is uh, your personal identity. Do not sh share any your personal identity on social media. When a hacker they want to target you, because why? Because we have credit card, we have financial data, right, and medical record. Medical record is very valuable on the black market. It costs a lot of money, a lot of money. And it can bring a lot of damage to a person's life, you know. And they can use that to do a lot of uh, different scam and different uh, force. And the third thing is about computer uh, resource. That they can use your own computer, your own device, as proxies or even they can use that to mine cryptocurrency. This is a real case that happened in the U.S. A medical uh, facility in the U.S. got hacked and more than 200,000 uh, records got stolen. And what happened with these uh, records? It's been traded. It's been sold to many people. Not only one, but many people on the dark web. And sometimes it's very cheap price though. A lot of ransom groups make a lot of money. One of the uh, ransom group, they make like more than a hundred million US dollars just to ransom the people. That's how it's very dangerous to raise awareness. And also that a lot of people, maybe we don't know that we're facing virus or malicious software every single day. More than 500 new pieces of malware generated or even detected by security software, every single day. For instance, I send a malicious email, you know, try to act as uh, an IT support. You know. After to download the malicious software, what happened? You know, we don't know, we got a lot of people, we so scared, you know, of um, something happened with our um, device. So we just try to see that uh, this uh, software can help us because of the email they try to scan. That's how we call, we so call, this technique is social engineering. And they social your mind, you know, like they try to trick you. And when right after you click on the file, everything on your computer got encrypted. Everything. All the file, all the data got encrypted. Right? And after that is a um, nice message that telling you that you have to pay for it. 
and usually you have to use cryptocurrency to pay for this and um, you know sometimes you have to pay up to like thousand and thousand US dollar and you have to buy Bitcoin or stuff like that to pay for the ransom but I don't recommend anybody pay for the uh, ransom attackers simple password or quick passwords it's very dangerous for us and the second thing is you know sometimes we think that the apps that we download from the App Store or Google Play Store is safe, right? No, it's not 100%, nothing 100%. Because sometimes malicious actor they can bypass it and then inject malicious uh, code inside and then it can be used to steal your personal information. Maybe some of us can give you very simple password, like 12456 or password 123. Or even some of us we use like I love you as of your password. So so change right now because uh, some big cybersecurity company they analyze and also give out all the top tens of uh, with with passwords. Many people we use search engine like Google, right? And sometimes we search something we think that's safe, but it's not hundred percent. Not, I mean, not in 100% when you search on Google is safe. So you have to pay attention on the link that you link. Sometimes you search YouTube, but it shows up different website. And it redirects to use to a million website that it can steal your information. So this is some of the biggest data leaks recently. It just happened like last year, you know, 2022. And some of the big companies like Twitter, Microsoft got hacked. And what happened to these data? It got sold on the dark web and very cheap. Sometimes they share for free. And on these forums, uh, many torrent actors they use it and they obtain the data and then they use it for scam, for phishing. Sometimes a hacker, you know, they don't, want, they don't even put too much time to hack a company. Because some platform, online platform that we use, sometimes is not secure, very unsecure. And this is what happened to this uh, platform, you know. They put up all the ID, identities of their customer to, and then it got exposed on the, on the internet. Anybody can access to it. And you can see this is a Singaporean ID card. Okay, so the best way, I mean, the best answer, right, to keep yourself secure is what? You know, cut the cable, you know, or just turn off the, light, the, 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 the power, that's it. But, but just kidding though, <laughs> it's not a way. But anyway, the true solution is, as we can see that, we're not talking about the bad one and the good, you know, I'm talking about the better and the best. The better is for regular person like us. If we have time, please set up two-step authentication right now, you know, because password nowadays is not safe like before. Because we, uh, as a human habit, right, we, we cannot remember so many passwords. We use the same passwords maybe for 20 different platforms. So, two-step authentication will help this. Even you may use the same password maybe for five or 10 different platforms. But two-step authentication will help you to reveal uh, some of that. So, my recommendation, do not install Paris or Crack software. A lot of us, we still use that. And take choice before you click on the link. You know, when you receive a text message, an email, or any message on social media, team choice before that. Always verify and confirm. And what happened when you got scammed, right? When you got scammed, you know, don't be ashamed, you know, just pick up. A lot of people, when we got scammed, we keep silent. And it ends correct. The scammer or the threat actor keep doing what they are doing. So we have to speak up. We have to share what happened to us, to others, so they can learn the incidents. And don't be panicked, you know. We should 
uh, collect only details, only evidence, only chat history, and gather all this evidence and report to the police immediately. Don't wait. And when you got happen, like your device got happen with a uh, ransom attack, right? You should uh, not only like uh, you look for the backups that maybe you already have somewhere, maybe on the cloud, on your uh, external hard drives. But at the same time, you can report to uh, National Cyber Security Center, kanbao.ncsc.gov.vn. And also to our non-profits, also there is a very useful website, it's called like nomoransom.org. This is uh, another uh, non-profit website, it's help the people, you know, in case of they got ransomware attacks. Thank you very much and uh, for your time and for your... <laughs> Sorry about having to listen. All right. Thank you.